Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Melanie at Tarot Alignment. This is your reading for the week of February 7th through the 13th. That's right. Okay, so let's get an overall feeling of what your energy is for the week. Okay, uh, Five of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. That is a lot of conflict coming towards you um, this week. And it could be self-imposed. It could be just um, the climate, you know, environmental. We don't know yet. Let's see what's happening on Monday. Monday is a three of wands is where you're looking at a new direction, possibly traveling to a new direction. Tuesday, uh, five of cups, you're looking at things that, um, you know, that you've left behind. You're looking at your, you're being in your own head, being nostalgic about, you know, past experiences. And um, that could be why you have this, this five of swords some, and thinking about where to go next. Okay, so that's uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Where are you on Wednesday? Six of wands, you're feeling very generous. You're feeling generous. You're feeling um, like a victory. Um, you're feeling um, everything is good. So whatever your problem was is that you snap out of it by Wednesday. Um, Thursday, uh, you're getting ready to leave. You're leaving the situation. Um, and that's probably, you know, here on Tuesday, you, you're making the, the decision and you're truly manifesting it, you know, by Thursday. Okay, Friday, you're in the emperor mode. Um, the emperor has, you know, all the wisdom has, you know, he's enlightened. You see his staff has an illumination on it. It's similar. It's, it's. It's a very strong card if you are making a decision to move is that you have the energy and the mental capacity within you to um, move forward and um, you, you're going to be fine because you have this strength within you. On Saturday, uh, we're looking at the Wheel of Fortune. So you're looking at Gemini... It, um, a whole new world, you know, let's do Aladdin, a whole new world. Yeah. You're looking at a whole new world, uh, Gemini, um, by Saturday, Sunday, uh, the queen of swords, it's very strong energy, very, um, matter of fact, and it's a very good, this is a good pair. So, um, I think you're going to meet someone on Saturday um, next week that is going to be of interest to you, I think. Um, I'm getting a sense of Libra. Um, it's it's an air energy. It's, you know, so I think you're going to um, pair well with this person is what I'm getting because you're leaving something behind and you're going you're moving forward. Okay. So let's see what we got. I've already shuffled these cards, but we're going to cut them again and let's get some clarifiers. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. So on Monday going into the future, um, you're feeling very nostalgic, you know, the cups there, um, you know, something that you know, but you also, if you can see the person on the bridge is that that is leaving something behind that, you know, so whatever it is, is that when you're moving forward is that you're leaving what, you know, currently and that could be like, you know, your street. So you're moving to a new house or moving, um, you know, you're moving the old and you're moving into a new direction. And that's what, yeah, in the King of Pentacles here. And it's, it's going to bring you more wealth too. That's what I'm thinking is that you're, you're still feeling this, you know, sense of loss, um, from leaving something behind. 
um, but it, it, it's going to bring you more wealth. And this could also be you're leaving a job behind. That's Tuesday, Wednesday. And yes, this is a victory. Here we have the Queen of Swords again. We had the Queen of Swords earlier, and then here's the Queen of Swords again. So this um, victory that you're going to be having is, is going to give you a higher sense of knowledge. Um, it's going to be challenging. I think you're going to really... Um, Enjoy the challenge. I, I I think that this is much better than where you are. So you you're really open to this new you know victory, this new experience. That's Wednesday, Thursday, um, leaving, and you've got the Two of Cups. So there's a new contract, a new union. Um, some kind of reciprocity that is going on when you make this decision to move. Yes. Okay, Friday. Judgment. Yeah, so um, the situation did cause, um, needed to have some kind of balance. And that's why the judgment card is here. And because what was there was out of balance. So there's a balance that comes with your choice to move on by Friday. You're going to feel like you're more balanced and grounded in that, you know, Gemini energy here. This is also, you know, kind of a Gemini card with a Cancer. So if you're a Gemini Cancer cusp, um, you should pay attention to this reading because this is talking directly to you. And Page of Cups, an offer. An offer of love, an offer, uh, and that could be, I, I'm not seeing this as a love reading. I'm seeing this more of as a career reading. Um, so this this could be, you know, this offer is going to bring you, well, that's Sunday, Saturday. Oh, the chariot shows up again in the world. It's a lot of movement. It's a lot of movement, but it's steady, calm movement. You see the chariot here, he has his stars above his head. So he's sheltered and he's protected as he's moving forward into this next cycle. And yeah, and you're going to be still in this queen of swords, you know, thinking very analytically, positively, and you can decide um, what is the best it's going in the right direction it's a very guided spiritually guided direction that you're going towards it's very good reading very good reading um let's see here mending okay so you possibly could be mending an old relationship but spirit wants to know why why would you be doing that? And, and the answer is happy, happy, happy. <sighs> a girl wants what a girl wants, right? Yeah. That's what we got there. Okay, I am looking forward to next week. And let's give you a card for your shadow work for you to think about this week. And maybe you can find the answers why when you're when you're doing your writings. Okay, let's see what it says. Compulsive behaviors. Identify your internal feelings. What are you looking to control or feel in the moment? Now that could be this Queen of Swords card, is that you're trying to control it instead of just releasing it into um, the universe, because you had the Queen of Swords here on, on Wednesday too, and then here on Sunday, is that maybe that's, you know, try not to have so much control. Even though the cards bring out that energy, maybe you have to use your own intuitive thoughts to like, well, that's not where I want to be this week. So I'm going to be mindful and not try to control the situation and just let the situation unfold. And because sometimes we try to control too much and just not let 
the energy just take itself. Yeah. Makes um, your car not starting. Well, that could be something the divine saying, no, I don't want you there that quickly. So it's going to stall you just a little bit. And so just food for thought. I don't know. Anyway, thank you. I love you. And I hope I get to see you again. This is Melanie. And like and share my channel and help me build the algorithm. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.